Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest, absolutely easiest miniature books ever. So I've got an old romance novel that I've torn the cover off. And as you can see, I'm just bending it open really well. And then I'm taking a razor blade and I'm cutting it along the spine so I can keep the pages and the glue intact. And you can see here how easy this is to cut. And there you go. So I've got some books. <laughs> it's actually so much easier than what you would ever imagine to do it this way. So I think I've got five or six of them all together. So, uh, and uh, you have to trim off any excess because it's going to show. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'll see you in a minute and I'll show you how I do this. So I've got out my tacky glue and I'm just kind of slathering it on quite generously. You can see here all along the one side. And then as soon as I'm finished on that side, then I'm going to do the spine. And as you can see, I left all the glue intact from the original book. So I'm just kind of putting that all on the edge. And you want to put glue so that it's covering it really well. I probably am not covering this as well as I should, but uh, that's okay. So these books are a little crude, but... Uh, You'll see when I'm done. So I've got the other side. I've got all the glue on. So what I did is, is I went to the dollar store and I bought this faux leather. And uh, I'm just folding it over the edge of the book and gluing it down. So you want to try and glue it as close to the spine as you possibly can. So you can see here I'm a little messy at it, but that's okay. So, um, so I've got that piece glued on and now I've got another piece. So these are, some of these are actually scraps from a different project that I did. So, and then I'm just gluing that on and folding it over and gluing it down. And then after it's glued, you're going to want to clamp it really well or put something heavy on it for it to dry. So um, I'm just squirting out a little bit more of my tacky glue and cutting another little piece of leather. Now this full leather that I have, I have navy, chocolate brown, and black. So again, I'm just going to put glue all over it. And there's really no rhyme or reason. So after the books are made, you're not going to see any of the writing. So um, these books are meant to be more for filler than they are for anything else. So you've got an entire bookshelf that you want to fill up with books. This is the easiest way that I've ever found to do it. Now, I have made like the real books where I've sewn the pages together and I've done artwork inside of the books. I can maybe show on another video. Um, and uh, so I have made books the proper way. But this is uh, for when you need a library and you need 40 extra books. It's pretty hard to do those really super detailed ones. And let's face it, they're super expensive to purchase. And they're not even all that nice, some of the ones that you purchase. So... So you can see here, I've got it glued on and you wanna press it down really firmly. And I'm not worried about the excess glue that I have on the leather, it doesn't matter because it's pretty much gonna all be cut off anyways. So, so there you go, I've got two of them. So, and then I bring out my little clips and I'm just gonna clip them just to hold them firm. I think actually the clips work pretty good, but I think weight works a little bit better. So, um, so as you can see here, I'm just kind of clipping them down and then I'm just gonna let them dry overnight. So, 
Um, so there you go. I've got two made. So I've got a limited amount of clips, so I can only do I can only do two at a time. So I'm gonna have to run downstairs into the basement and get some more weights. So there you go. I'm just wiping off a little bit of the excess glue. And 24 hours, guys. It takes at least that for it to glue up nice and firm because you don't want it to slip when you're cutting it. So it really has to be firmly glued down. And I made this, I crocheted this last night. It's a little tiny um, rag rug for in front of the counter in my Trang dollhouse. And it's the same color as the wallpaper. So I think it'll look pretty good, but right now it's wet. So I'm just blocking it so it'll lay nice and flat. So I'm back at it. It's the next evening. And you can see here, I've got an X-Acto knife out and I'm just trimming them up. And you gotta try and trim them as evenly as possible. So, and you really need a sharp blade for this. So um, I think I sharpened the blade or snapped the blade off at least six times during this process. So you can see here, this is what the little books are going to look like. Now, I'm cutting them in this video. I'm cutting them pretty big. I'm probably doing 112 scale books here. So I end up having later on to go back and cut them down and make them a little bit smaller for my purpose. So, but uh, you can see there, like, look how easy that is. Voila, book number one. <laughs> So, um, and you don't have to use the faux leather. I suppose you could use anything that you want. You could use cardstock or almost anything. I just think the faux leather is really nice. See, that's a little book. So out of this romance novel that I've butchered, <laughs> I ended up with about 40 books all told. So you can see here, I'm just trimming this off. There you go, book number two. They're pretty easy. So, and I'm just gonna go ahead and trim a third one. I don't think you need to watch me cut up all 30 of them. <laughs> so now, as I say, I'm just using these as filler. So I've got a little uh, gold magic marker and I'm just kind of making a little bit of designs on the end of the books and again like these are super 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 crude so if you wanted to do this so that they looked really super nice I would suggest that you get a really really fine um, paintbrush and some metallic paint and paint them you could do a much better job with that but uh, um, as I say I'm using these mostly as filler so um, I'm just uh, trying to make them as nice as possible. So I've also got a silver marker. Some of the books are navy blue, so the silver looks pretty good on them. So there you go. And I'm trying to make each one of them slightly different, as you can see here. Oh, on this one, I'll show you. You can do little embellishments like that. You could actually, like if you wanted to, you could use nail art on these. You could uh, um, glue little sequins on them. You could, uh, um, you could do all kinds of things to make them way nicer than the way I'm making them. But I just wanted to show you just how easy it is to do this. I mean, it's really not difficult at all. And you can see I've literally got a mountain of them. <laughs> oh, here, I'm making a little Bible. There you go. Every little dollhouse needs a little Bible. There you go. So this uh, magic marker is starting to wear out. I think the other one is a little bit newer. So there you go. Yeah, so, I mean, as I say, you know, they're, they're crude, but... Uh, Holy man, it's so much fun to make them. And they look good in the dollhouse. I mean, the more little details that you put into your dollhouse, I think the more realistic it really looks. So um, 
I've made these, I can't even tell you how many times over the years. So I've got a whole pile of them downstairs in my basement. And I'm so happy with the way they look. <laughs> so you guys are going to give this a try because it really is simple. So you can see here, I filled this little bookshelf up with some books. And I had to cut them down quite a bit to make them all fit, but that's okay. And I still have a ton of them left over. Well, thank you very much again for joining me today. Please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe because it really helps my channel. And have the best day ever. And tell your friends all about my channel. <laughs>